My next guest has got a huge opportunity here on Dana White's Contender Series. going to be fighting August 29th. It is right around the corner. It is Mateo Vogel joining me here on the program. Mateo, how are you, man? I'm great, brother. How are you doing? Doing awesome. Really happy to talk to you, man. I've been following your career for a bit, and uh, what a good time to do an interview with a, a big chance like this for on Contender Series. Uh, when did you find out about this opportunity? I've known now for about a couple months, about two nice. months. So yeah, that's the thing. I've known I've known for a while. Full camp. Uh, I've been able to take things like I don't want to say slow and steady, but like I've been, yeah, I've, I've been uh, I've been in the know for for quite some time now, and like yeah, it's it's been perfect. It's the longest camp I've ever had. I've taken a lot of short notice ones in the past. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, it's good, good to hear, man. So, where did this journey start for you? I know you're from Ottawa. Uh, how did you get involved in combat sports? Well, that's funny, man. That's a combination of things. It's like I I was into uh, I was always like in a rough housing and rough like as a kid, like I was always I don't know ADHD kid, right? You get you get in trouble with this and that. Um, but uh, I remember I got into I got into school wrestling at about twelve years old, and then that made me well. I was already into the UFC. I used to watch UFC with my dad. Got mm-hmm. into school wrestling about twelve years old, and then uh, a little bit older than that, it made me want to switch to jujitsu. Because I just watching the UFC, I loved watching all the grapplers. Coincided with like at the same time as when like I used to have some trouble with kids at school and shit like that. But yeah, um, jujitsu and me just clicked, and then uh, from then on out, I was competing like every couple weeks. Awesome, that, that's cool. And that, you know, uh, there aren't that many fighters that have made it to the UFC from Ottawa. I was just trying to think. Mark Holst, I think, is one of the only ones that that comes to mind. Uh, what would that mean to go out there and win the contract and, and rep Ottawa like that? putting it on the map man that's for sure like yeah. that's the thing i'm, re- I'm representing uh, ottawa mma over yeah. a short time like i became the guy to represent ottawa mma that's the thing and we got a lot of great fighters too or we got a couple at least um that are kind of not only say under the radar but like best kept secret kind of things and i think we've seen like a bunch of high level fighters come up now in canada we've had fighters from from Montreal, from Quebec, we had fighters from uh, around Toronto, but I think it's Ottawa's turn now, and I'm the I'm the guy to do it. I love it. Okay, that's great, man. Um, along with fighting, what else do you do for a living, or is, is fighting sort of your full time job right now? Well, yeah, I, you know, I I teach also uh, at the gym. So I oh, teach, cool. Okay, uh, classes, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, I've never really had, aside from a little stint where I where I did like framing, I've never had a different little job. I've only ever worked around martial arts. Good. That's great, man. It's all worked out. Um, tell me about this uh, opponent you're fighting here. Uh, he's six and one record. Uh, how do you feel like you match up against him here? Great matchup for me. Uh, well, any any matchup's a great matchup for me, right? I'm 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 excited to take this one on. He's he obviously works really hard. He's uh, got some good hands on him, but I just feel like there there's so many areas where where it's going to be in my favor. I just I feel like this is my time to showcase right in front of Uncle Dana. And just take that contract, take what's mine. This has been 13 years in the making. So uh, culmination of hard work right here. This is where I can really put everything on display and I can show the world. And, and you, you have more uh, fights than him, I know, just by, you know, a couple. But uh, you fought in Battlefield, which is a, a great promotion. Uh, you actually have a win over someone who I just interviewed earlier and is also on Contender Series, uh, Series CD. Um, you know, how much does that experience? Or will you be yeah, I know it's, it's, uh, I, but, but I was going to say that like, that's a, um, you know, uh, like, like, again, you've been battle tested sort of, sort of going into this, how much of an advantage do you think that is? That's huge because we, we all know time and time again, like how many times have you seen me crumble under pressure or adversity? Like, yeah. We haven't seen it. That's the thing. I've been tested. I've had my face busted up. I've had every fucking bullshit thing happen to me before a fight. I've had odds stacked against me, but every time I get the job done and I feel like that's what's different between me and every other fighter. You know what yeah. I mean? Like everybody's special until they fight me. That's kind of how it's been coming up, you know? Yeah. Like, this guy's this. This guy hasn't lost in nine years. This guy's the next up and coming prospect. This guy's this guy is this guy. And I beat all of them. So that's like, the way I like to look at it is everybody was special until they fought me. Uh, training partners, uh, again, maybe not some household names, but who are some of the guys you get to work with? Like you said, we got guys we're going to be hearing about pretty soon here. So who are you getting to work with? That's it. Well, you got to keep your eyes out for the best kept secret. That's Alex O'Neill. Um, Alex O'Neill is like not a huge presence on social media, but the thing is, the guy, I've sparred numerous guys in the UFC, and I can tell you that Alex could hop into the UFC tomorrow and he would win. Okay. He's, uh, yeah, former former pro hockey player, but absolute beast of a, of a fighter. 
and one of the greatest training partners you could ever ask for, right? So he's yeah. I'm working with him on the on the daily. Um, we also got up and comers like you've seen Mohamed Ado, uh, fella from Niger. He's uh, again like just ultra talent. Ultra talent meets hard work right there. So like I got him, I got Jake Govro, an up and coming fellow featherweight. These are these are guys that you're gonna hear about very very soon, and, and they're gonna make a real dent in the scene. Um, you uh, also um, going to be heading to Vegas uh, for this fight. Who's going to be making the trip with you? Who's uh, going to be in your corner for this one? Well, I got my uh, my longtime jujitsu coach, Professor Pete Fizikas, and uh, I have, of course, my beast of the training partner, Alex O'Neill. Okay, that's good. And um, as as the weight cut going, you used to fight at bantamweight, right? So I'm sure you know featherweight's a lot better frame wise, right? Yeah, it was getting rough. That's the thing. Like I'm not twenty. I'm not twenty one years old anymore, or twenty two. Uh, my frame has really changed. We've put on we've put on a fair amount of muscle. I was just watching some of my earlier fights, and I was thinking like, shit, we've put on a fair amount of muscle in the past uh, four years. That's the thing. So like, even making featherweight right now, it's still it's a legit cut. You know, I'm not uh, yeah. I'm not really in a position where it, where it's where where I feel that it's safe or healthy to try to make bantamweight anymore. Yeah. And, and by the way, one of your wins at Bantamweight, I should mention, Garrett Armfield, who's in the UFC, right? He's actually fighting in a few weeks here uh, on the uh, Singapore card. So, I mean, that's yeah. that's looking good on the resume right now. And I also got to mention, I know you, you lost the fight, but Damon Blackshear has been doing quite well in the UFC. And that's a guy that you fought at Bantamweight. And like you just said there, featherweight, probably the better weight class for you, too. So Yeah, like that's the thing. That was a rough weight cut going into that. Not making excuses because Damon yeah, for sure. yeah. he beat me fair and square. He uh, He was more mature than I was back then. But the amount of growth I've had from fights like that um, has been immense. And I think uh, coming to Contender Series or the UFC at the point that we're at now, I'm far more mature and it's more fitting now, right? I'm in a position where uh, when, once I win this, like I'm in a position where I feel like I can climb the ranks very, very quickly. I'm more mature now and I'm ready to, I'm ready to take on some of the best guys in the world. Yeah, and we're looking to see that uh, here on the 29th. Uh, what's your prediction? How do you see this fight playing out? I'm finishing him before the end of the second round. There we go. Didn't even hesitate. Didn't even flinch. You're just like, yeah, it's going to happen. You're manifesting it. I love it. Um, what, what about, Felt it. That's it. What about the division itself, featherweight? You know, it's obviously at the very top of the division in the UFC. You've got Volkanovski, but I do feel like we're seeing things change a bit. You know, Max Holloway, I know, is still there, but uh, you're seeing other guys emerge like Arnold Allen. You've got, um, you know, obviously Chikaze. You've got a lot of really uh, exciting fighters. Like the timing of you getting this opportunity seems pretty awesome. I do think so as well. Uh, but that's the thing is that I see these guys. Uh, I talked to my good friend, Charles Jordan about this. And like, like we're, we are the guys, we are the future of Canadian MMA. Uh, give me just a little bit of time. You know, you saw him just take out Cron Gracie and just demo yeah. him. You know what I mean? That was, that was no fluke. That was, that was like, that was hard work and like, and a, and a fucking uh, beautiful game plan. Just like in Charles executing like such a high level guy. And that's not where I feel like we're at. Like, I'm ready to come onto this scene, and I'm gonna. I feel like I can cut through some of the some of the top level guys within a couple of years. Like that's the thing. It, sooner sooner than later, uh, I can see myself climbing the ranks. Even just watching these past UFC cards, I really I can see that these guys. I don't think they're ready for me. Okay, I love it. I love it, man. That's great. Um, you mentioned training with some UFC guys. You mentioned Jordan there. Who are some other guys you've had an opportunity to train with? I also train with another featherweight here in Canada, Kyle Nelson. Oh, the monster, of course. Great guy. The monster, fucking beast right there. Yeah. Him and I um, have done Mr. Mustellini's. I think Mustellini still sponsors him uh, to this day. Uh, that's the pub there in, uh, what is it, Huntsville, right? So I have no idea. But, yeah. oh, anyways, I, I just know, I've, I've interviewed Kyle for a long time, so I, I kind of I know that. But, but great guy, and big win for him in his last fight over Blake Builder. Absolutely. Like, it is a great year for the Canadians so far, and I, I plan to make it a clean sweep. Yeah, no, no, I'm with you there. Okay, let's talk about Ottawa. I used to live in Ottawa, so uh, I, maybe we can compare some notes here. I went to Carleton uh, way back in the day, uh, university. I used to live on Homewood, which is the street behind uh, where, I don't know what they call it now. It used to be called Frank Flanker Stadium, where the football stadium is now. What's that area called? They, they, it's something new now, right? Where, the foot, where Lansdowne? Lansdowne, yeah, yeah, Lansdowne Park. Yeah, I used, to, I used to live right behind there. Okay, right on, man. I liked your shirt, by the way. Oh, well, thank you. I knew I was interviewing uh, two Canadians today, you, yourself and, uh, and Siri, so I had to uh, adjust the part, man. Yeah, we got to get it out. Um, Ottawa Senators fan at all, or you, you watch hockey? Uh, like, I'm, I'm not, a, not a big hockey guy anymore, but yeah, I grew up supporting the Sens always. I used to live and breathe hockey growing up like a, like a lot of us did. That's my athletic base, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, no, no, a lot, a lot of people uh, going from, yeah, obviously having that love for hockey, uh, being here in Canada, which is uh, which is interesting. What else for downtime? What do you get up to? Ottawa is so hot in the summer, man. I, I did a couple summers there with that humidity. Uh, it, it's a bit rough. Uh, what, what are you getting up to? Uh, obviously, training's the focus, but you getting in, getting into anything else? Training's the focus. Um, these days, man, I've kind of let my other hobbies kind of suffer. I, okay. don't, I don't even play Xbox all that much. That's the thing. Like, I'm trying to make it it sounds silly but i'm trying to make a conceited effort to actually game more just to free my brain from the from the grind of fighting but yeah i'm yeah. into weird stuff i'm into weird stuff dude I, I i like collecting weapons and shit like that yeah okay <laughs> How, how's that been with trudeau i know they're kind of you know harping down on a lot of that stuff uh, oh no not and, so much and, with guns i mean like every everything i got like medieval weapons and all i don't know oh really oh cool okay fucking axes and swords and spears Do you have like a samurai sword in your house not yet. That's what I'm. That's what I'm looking to add next. But uh, I'll I'll drop money on a on a real nice one. Is what I'm thinking. Okay, that's cool. Because uh, Yuri Prohaska, I think, has one. He's uh, he's all into that martial arts stuff, right? So. Oh man, I love it. Like the thing is, doing that like just over on my wall over there, I got a bunch of swords that I'm looking at right now. But what I feel like is it, it connects me with my. Uh, it connects you with your ancestors, man. It connects us with something that we're meant to do. Much like I feel MMA connects me to that as well. Like, yeah. I'm, connects you to to something that's in you. you all of us had an ancestor that stood on a battlefield holding a spear you know what i mean so i feel like what i do is is like it just brings you closer to that yeah no well said man and i think like the martial arts lifestyle you go all the way back to like you know when people were actually fighting for their lives back then i'm sure you're kind of tapping into that a bit uh you know collecting all those weapons that's the thing man yeah that's that's what it is and i, I love watching the i love watching history documentaries reading about history i love learning about all kinds of all kinds of boring stuff you know but but yeah that's that's what i'm all about i don't have much hobbies outside of that um got to ask one more ottawa question have you ever been to labotega it's a sandwich shop downtown in the market have you ever been there no sir oh you got to go well after the fight because it's you What's know it the, the sandwich labotega? Is... labotega it's right near okay so i'm gonna try and describe this the best i can you know where the mall is it's like kind of in the it's in the the market down there uh right near where that radio station is you know right downtown you know what i'm talking about um, kind of, uh, yes. I don't know what's there now. I haven't been in Ottawa in years, but it's like right across from the radio station. If you know where that is. Okay. Yeah. Got to check it out. I used to work there. That's why. And the, the sandwiches I'm telling you are amazing so much. So my wife was on a business trip in Ottawa recently. And I asked her nicely if she could go pick up a sandwich and bring it back. I live in Vancouver now, but, uh, she got it and it tasted amazing. So there we go. I'm going to check that out. There you go. This, this fight's done. I'll get a victory sandwich for you. There you go. I, I, you can live vicariously through you. But in the meantime, we got to watch you, man. Dana White Contender Series, August 29th. Mateo, thank you so much for the time. If there's anyone you want to thank, any sponsors, any social media you want to mention, I'll give you the last word. Oh, I got a few right now. I got to thank my, uh, well, I got to thank my, my uh, therapy sponsor right away. Like uh, I'm with Elysian Wellness. These guys have been keeping my body intact. Massage therapy, cold plunge, infrared sauna, physiotherapy, everything. These guys have been taking care of me. And it's honestly, it's the best spot in Ottawa. Um, I recommend it to anyone, not just athletes. And uh, I got to give a huge shout out to Willie's Pizza. Grew up eating that pizza. If you want to be big and strong like the champ, get yourself some Willie's Pizza. All the Ottawa people.